Hello, today let's solve this series problem by another method. Here, this Greek letter stands for the Riemann zeta function. And this problem was originally posted in the video by Blackpen Redpen. And I put the link under this video so you can see it. And I will use an alternative method to solve this problem. So let's get started. Here is a Riemann zeta function. And this is in a series form, so you are familiar with. And we can write this series form into the integral form. And if you don't know why we can write it into this integral form, you can click here to see my previous video. And in that video, I derive this equation from the series to the integral form. So right now, let's use this result and continue. And next, we subtract 1 on both sides of this equation. And for the right-hand side, I write 1 as the factorial over the factorial. And in this case, we can take the 1 over k minus 1 factorial out. And for this k minus 1 factorial term, this term is the gamma function, so we write it into the integral form. And you can click here to see my previous video. In that video, I derived this integral equals to k minus 1 factorial. And next, we replace this factorial term by the integral, so we got here. And then we group them into one integral. So we can take this blue factor out. And then we will simplify this green term. So we multiply the e to the power x minus 1 to both numerator and denominator to the second term. And then we simplify the second term. So finally we got here. And next, we plug in to replace this green term. So we got here. I copy them here. And then we put this factorial term inside the integral. And next, we take the sum on both sides. And note for this series, we write the first three terms to help you better visualize. And record the Maclaurin series for the exponential function. This series is uniformly convergent for the arbitrary x belongs to real numbers. So if we compare them, we can find the above series just equals to the e to the power x minus 1. As I mentioned just now, because this series is uniformly convergent for arbitrary x belongs to real numbers, so we can switch the order for the integration and the summation. And next, we plug in this e to the power x minus 1 to replace this series. So we got here. And these two terms cancel out. So we got this integral, and we know this equals to 1. So we derived this series is equal to 1. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a like. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching.